Hey guys, this is Arnabless98, and here is my instruction video for Bumblebee from the Bumblebee movie. I know a lot of you guys want to build him because he's like the main character of the movie, and he looked kind of nice next to a minifigure. And yeah, so here they are. Um, yeah, this instruction video, um, it's kind of it's pretty much the same as I've been usually doing. There is a stud.io file I have in the link below, but I also have um, an actual like building, like like how I did back then. So you have two options to build him. Either you just download the stud.io, get the parts, and build them from there, or you could just follow the little building steps they have afterwards. I figured since he's kind of small, he only has like 200 pieces, it's easy to do both, so, yeah. And before you uh, go just, um, go open the stud.io file, he should be mostly assembled on there, which is surprising because I can't really do that with my other Transformers. And there are two things that I pay attention to. Um, um, this uh, pair of joints here, you need one one of these for the middle of his body. Make sure they, these are very loose because they are too tight. They'll be very hard to transform. And when you move this around, this part will just snap off all the time. So make sure this connection is relatively loose when you have the actual joints in hand. And another thing to pay attention to is there are two types of these uh, clip pieces. These are the exo, I think originally the exo force robot arms. Um, I don't think you can see it very well, but this version, if you do have these in hand, any type, this version is a newer one, which you will, which I highly recommend, because the edges of these aren't as rounded, they're more like, they're kind of sharp, and they allow, like, more pieces to grip on them easily. This is a newer version, they've probably been in sets, like, one or a year or so now. And this is an older version that's more rounded, um, I, I recommend not using these, because, um, you can't, the pieces won't grip onto these as well, so try to use... These the one the um the version of these are on um, uh, the stud.io file, so if you're following that then you should be fine. And yeah, let's get to the building. Um the parts list, um you can find it in the stud.io page. You don't need to download the program, it's just on the main page. There'll be like a little tab that says parts list and you can look down that. Or you can look at the piece layouts I have before I start building it. Building B and um yeah, please note that some of these sections are like mirrored, like the arms, you'll need like two sets of the parts I put down. And fair warning, uh, just because he's like the main character of the movie and he's relatively kid-friendly, it doesn't mean this build is kid-friendly at all. Um, it is relatively complex for his small size, some parts will come off. It depends how tight your joints are or something, and, and you will get frustrated a lot if you're expecting a very simple build. Just a little fair warning, but I'm pretty sure most of you know that. My builds are just complex, mostly complex. And yeah, let's get building, and if you aren't uh, following that part, just uh, work on the stud.io file.
All right, now let's put everything together. Um, I didn't show this in the building steps, but you do have his arm blade here, his battle mask, which is just a stud, and then these two portions form the cannon, which should be simple enough. And yeah, and um, I hope you did pay attention to the mirrored parts, as always. And first, put them together. This is his lower body, and then we just stick the legs on him. It's right there. This new hip joint. It's not really new, but this is my first time using it. And then, yeah, these do come off sometimes. And those are the legs. Now for the upper body, you got the head area here. And this area, which is the windshield and then the side wings or whatever. They kind of go in like that. And then they go in like that and you want to shift these till they uh, meet up in the middle here like that and they'll just sit like this and then this will rotate to the back and straighten up the head and in this section which is the front of the car just um, this black piece will just stick right into here And then this section here, coming to the lower body, this is how it's all connected. You need to make sure these two ball joints are very loose in order for transformation. They kind of just sandwich into here and squish there. And then this part would just fold down. Now for the arms. Of course, the arms just clip right into here. And same for this side. And you want to just fold the wheels out for this part. You want to make sure this clip here is rotated like that. And this part will clip right into the end of here, the spar section. And you just gotta clip it in. And when you do so, you want to make sure the, moon, uh, the front windshield kind of clears the bumper area here, like that. And then you want to shift the head forward. It's kind of a cool cross section. And same for this side. Pull this sideways. And then you want to fold that back. And then you want to clip this in. Yeah, some bits are coming off. Yeah, these little edges do come off sometimes. And you want to make sure this ball joint is straight. That'll make everything make sure everything will pile up in the same spot. And then you just pushing this. <laughs> I don't know why he's just coming apart, but once he's together, he's fine. Then again, you have this in hand, so it, you you tell me. this and the back here you want to take these uh, wings and then fold them all up like this just like this and then you fold the wheels down like that next to the little wings and these sections have to be shifted out a tiny bit just to make them stand better and there you go. There's Bumblebee in his robot mode all finished up. Hope you found that kind of easy, relatively easy. And now for a transformation back into the Volkswagen Bug. Um, this is uh, not that bad compared to my other car transformers. Things do end up in certain spots and you'll definitely feel it once you get everything together. Um, first, you gotta do just open that chest piece. And you wanna just put every pull everything apart. Come up to the top here, fold the win uh, wheels, and rotate them around like this. When you come to the back here, you wanna just fold all this down. And next, you wanna deal with this section. Um, you rotate the front part here around. 
And then, not yet actually, I just leave that like that. And then, on this ball joint here, you're just gonna open him up like that. And just fold these sections down just for now. And then you wanna fold these you want to fold, shift these back, the arms on the joint here. Then you want to fold these back like this. And then you want to take the entire section and uh, rotate it. As you can see, just like that. Like this. Yeah, you want to have these folded as far down as they can go to avoid clearance issues and then you come up to here and this should give you the room to rotate this around this is on one of those uh, like pieces like uh, the black ones over here which allow it to rotate this it kind of helps with the clearance and then you set that back up and then you rotate this around you can fold these out just for now Coming up to here, as you can see, I rotated this section around, and then you want to shift this outwards. Same for this side, rotate like this, and you shift like this, and then you fold this up. And there should be like a clear like stud gap right there. And then coming under here. Okay, that that'll come off sometimes. That's just the roof. Under here, you want to fold the head back down like that. And then the arms will rotate around. And they come off too. I'm going to rotate that around like that, and then same for this side, like that, and you don't squish them together just yet, you can actually fold the arms out like this, and then coming over here, you want to fold these sections down like this, um, you have the little wings. Make sure they just, they're just on this side, because in robot mode, this section is going to go on the other side. Just like that. And this is the fun part. You want to... Um, okay. You want to have it to one side, doesn't matter, I'm just doing this one first. Just like that, and pull this as far out as it can go. And then you come under here, and on this arm here, and you want to shift it the arm inwards and then you just swing that past this section here and then you rotate this section to the other side and you want to get this other windshield past oh weird hmm. well I guess that's just a very loose arm <laughs> I never noticed that you want to fold this section down you just want to shift it like that and it's just going to um, clear this section like that and then you rotate this like this. Now for this section here, um, it's a little, this is a weird thing to do, but you rotate the chest piece around. So you want to make him do a split. You rotate that around. And then you fold the legs back down. And then you fold this section into the roof. As far down as this section can go. And this section will kind of form a little shape. Oh. Okay, now he's coming together, and for these windshields, you want to get them back to the original position. You just um, grab the arm here, and then you want to shift this inwards too, and they should meet up in the middle like this. And you fold the section up, and this up, and now you want to push these two sections together, 
and shift it on this arm here like that and then you shift this one like this you give it a nice squeeze and it'll hold together and you want to prop this thing up a little bit the middle section here and then these little bars will go underneath you can see they go right that gap right there the little arms and there you go and make sure you have it right this section should be like 90 degrees as far up as you can push this section this section will droop down sometimes and then you fold this section down like this and then you come over to here you want to fold this down it's on this double hinge here you want to this section here you want to scooch this like 90 degrees and it should touch right here and that gap up here you should uh, fold these parts down like that and that is the roof of the car in this section you want to rotate this around and this around like that and you want to kind of push this into here so I scoot this to get it out of the way it should this little sl uh, slope here will line up perfectly with the front windshield area and you rotate this like in this position like this fold it like that and then you want to wiggle this section inwards like that and now the arms here um, you fold these sections down I'm gonna fold these out later, but and then the head will—it's a little weird thing to see, but um, the tips of these little arm things will stick out a tiny bit and allow a place for the head to rest, like this. And it's just gonna fold backwards like this. And then last but not least, the legs—you want to fold this section out. Oh. Actually, first you gotta fold this out, and then you want to shift this to the middle so it's uh, solid looking and you fold this out okay you want to put this back actually you fold this out for now in this section here you want to yeah that's right like this you want to shift it um, closer to this section here and you wanna this one is a tighter one, the other side a little faster, but you wanna shift this down as possible, rotate this section, rotate that, and then shift it back up like that. And same for this side. Yep, this one's much easier. Maybe I should get looser versions of these joints, but like that, and those will become the rear bumper. And this section here will rotate down. This section will fold as far out as you can go, like this way. And same for this side. Flip out, straighten, fold out, rotate like this. And you have this uh, expanded uh, car mode. And you want to fold this section down. This is important. You want to make sure that this section is parallel to the rest of the car here, so it would form the back, just like that. And then you can rotate this section like this. Same for this side. You want to. Rotate this like that. I'm gonna put this back here. And then you rotate this. You just wanna shift it in like that. Just like this. And you wanna make sure the back here is relatively straight. Like the hip joints are kinda like 
parallel, I guess. And this section will just bend a tiny bit. And now the last part involves the arms. You just have to just set them down like this. And then now these sections will rotate on top of here. I'm going to fold this down like that so it lines up. Same for this one, like this. And you'll just start pushing like this section a little bit and it'll just kind of mush together. It's a weird thing to explain if you don't have it in hand. And that should be it, just setting them down, just draining the wheels and everything. This should just plug right into here. It's kind of like you're smashing everything like together, but it works in the end. Yeah, and there's Bumblebee in his Volkswagen bug mode. I'm all done. <laughs> this is like 11 minutes long, but um, yeah, it is one of the harder transformations for someone this small. And a little bonus feature, um, I didn't show this off in the video, but you can put his arm blade inside in vehicle mode. It'll end up right on his arm, which is a neat thing. Just like that. You can't do it with the cannon, though, because that covers his entire arm. But it's just a neat little feature. And there you go. I hope you found that easy to follow. And yeah, that is the end of this video. Um, not much. Um, I'm pretty sure like 99% of you guys can just keep him in robot mode. Because that's his better mode. And he would look, look nice next to a minifigure. Especially if you had like a Charlie minifigure or something. Or custom. Or Yeah, and that is it for this video. Um, yeah, I hope you found everything easy to follow. I don't think a lot of people will see this end part because I did have the... I do have the studded IO files, and yeah, um, it's, I would definitely like to see someone make a Cybertronium OB out of him. I don't think he could quite do the Jeep version because um, the roof of his car isn't necessary for transformation, but I'm sure someone can figure it out. I don't want to make the Cybertronium or Jeep be because I'd rather make a new character than another Bumblebee, to be honest, like Blitzwing or Optimus Prime. And I'm currently working on Chatter now, but. Yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed building him and messing around with him, even though he's kind of small and fiddly sometimes. And I'll see you guys next time. Um, next video is actually Dropkick's video, but...